All right, guys, we're gonna head on back to the spot. All right, to get some work done. Uh, the post office is a madhouse, guys. It's a madhouse anyway on Saturdays, man, because everybody's trying to drop off their postage and stuff like that. But during the holiday season, it's even worse. Sir. <laughs> All right, uh, gives me a lot of anxiety, man. I don't even like being in traffic. I don't like getting stuff like that. So I try to get in and out of there. That's why I do most of my shipping from the house. I don't even come out here. So when you ship it from the house though, they have a system that you can go onto USPS and you can tell them how many packages you need picked up that day, the next day, because you have to do it in a day advance. And then they'll send the postal worker out there, but they already know that they're coming to get those um, level of packages. Uh, what I've been doing lately is I've been kind of cheating the system, which is wrong, and this is, could be why the guys are not picking my mail up. I suppose to go in and register with them that day before and let them know that they have those number of packages at that spot. All right, so that's what I'm gonna start doing again. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to talk to you guys what I was gonna talk to you guys about tonight. All right, you know, um, I've been looking at this whole economy thing and I've been hearing about what everybody been saying. And I was listening to this guy talk today and he was talking about what he called the mirror principle. He says that your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. And, I, and, and it got me really thinking because I had heard this quote before, but it really resonated with me today because it made a lot of sense. And he said that what we do is we work on the outer technology, but we, 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 we slack when it comes to working on the inner technology. And the inner technology is your mindset, your beliefs, your systems, your habits, things like that, right? And so I was thinking about my business, I was thinking about my life and stuff, and I was like, okay, you know, when you really think about this, it's not that hard out here to go out here and to execute if you really understand how things work. Uh, if, if, you, if you look at your life and say, okay, well, I'm not going to look at my life and, and look at how much I haven't done or how, how many failures I had, but instead you look at it as a learning experience and saying, okay, what data is present in my life that lets me know I need to work on something, right? You know, whether it's my finances, whether it's my productivity, whether it's my execution or whatever, all right? That's what that whole mirror effect is, is that, and then what he talked about, it was really, really powerful because he said a lot of times people try to manipulate the image and study understanding that they have to change the image that they're presenting to the mirror. And that made a lot of sense because if you want to make change in your life, you have to change on the inside first. You have to change your, your mindset, your thought process, how you're thinking then how you're planning and executing, then it manifests it on the outside. But it was one other thing that I was thinking about that really wrapped all this together for me. And I was thinking about um, a manifestation and the seed principle and how, you know, there is a gap between the time that you sow and the time that you reap a harvest, right? And a lot of people, I, I think, forget that. And there is process that must take place daily. And the results that you're getting today is not based off of what you did yesterday. It's based off what you did last year, right? So every day you are receiving the dividends or the harvest based off the seed that you sown a year before on that particular day, okay? So really think about that. So if you don't like what you're seeing, don't try to manipulate the image change what you're putting before the mirror change yourself so as i go into 2023 one of my things is that i really want to actually get in tune and really just keep building out the systems that i have in place such as journaling goals um reading daily reflection to continue working on making sure i am clear on what it is that i'm seeing all right and then if I need to make some changes, then I am going to change myself. And I even look at that with my business and stuff. If I want my business to go to the next level, if I want to um, if, I, if I want to scale this, then I got to look at the results, the data I got, and then go back and look at my processes and say, okay, what do I need to change in order for me to create systems and the environment for my business to scale, to grow, to be profitable? All right, so that's the challenge I'm gonna give to you guys. You know, remember that mirror, that mirror principle. If you don't 
like what you're seeing. If you don't like the picture you're seeing, the reflection that you're seeing, then you have to change the source of the reflection, right? You gotta go change you. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get on. We're almost back to the house. We're gonna get on back in. Um, I'm gonna I'm pull this stuff out the truck, get it downstairs, show you guys what it is that I have. And then we're gonna start getting this stuff washed today while I'm also gonna knock off my list. I might, and that's the cool thing about doing what I do, guys. It's, 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 um, it's not stuck. I can do it anytime. So if I get back in and Heather says she wants to watch the TV and whatnot, we watch TV. I do my list is later on. All right, if she if she's working on something, then I'll go ahead and bang out my list and do my cleaning. And we'll do it like that. But I have the flexibility because I am the CEO of Trade Hippo LLC. Um, and I get to make the, the decisions on how I do stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get on in here. Get things crack a lacking. All right, guys, I'm back from the post office. I'm back on site in warehouse A. So what I'm doing now is, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the um, some of the items I picked up from my sourcing run yesterday. Now, again, guys, it was super competitive out there yesterday. Um, had to do a lot of digging, all right, to be able to find what I find. But um, this is a lot of bread and butter items, guys. This is the kind of stuff we sell on our site every day. And I like doing these videos because it gives you a chance of being able to see the inventory before it hits the store. Because a lot of times, a lot of this stuff will sell as soon as we put it up. All right, so let's go ahead and go through it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, let's see what we got, what we got. All right, so this is the first item that I found. I still got to put a drawstring in. This is a vintage. Reebok Dallas Cowboy football. This is a heavier made um, sweater, sweatshirt. Now, let me bring this down some, guys. Hold on one second. Um, my apologies if you get a little shaken. All right, so anyway, this is a Dallas Cowboy. All right, Reebok hoodie, heavy made. I didn't see any flaws on this thing, man. I just got to add. A drawstring here, and I think this is a 2X on this. All right, so once we get it cleaned up, this will be available on the site, on the store. All right, I have this one here. This is a basic bread and butter item, a Hurley hoodie. This is a size extra large, 18 to 20. So that's a youth's extra large, all right? We're gonna have that available. Got this really cool graphic tee here. Um, it's called Lifestyle Classics 3XLT. All right, got the hot rod going on. All right, you guys see that? We're gonna have that available. It's a 3XLT. Um, we have this hoodie here. Let me see what size it is. This is a size large. This is a Fox Racing. Hoodie, um, I like it. It's got that spell out and hit on the side of it there. Um, you got it going down the right chest. Um, really nice hoodie, full zip. All right, so we're gonna have this available on there once we get every get everything cleaned. Um, and there's the the logo, guys. That Fox Racing, which is popular. All right, we got this one here. This is a size medium, and I think this is a women's medium. All right, feli, basic. You have the flag there, spell out across the chest, has the drawstrings on it. Women's media, women's, women's medium. All right, here is a um, size, a women's medium on this. Tommy Hill figure, you got the spell out across the chest, black, embroidered. All right, we got that. Uh, we got an extra large um, champion. Bam. Sweatshirt, 
all gray, gray on gray. You got the champion logo there, extra large, really good condition. Bam. This is a 2XL. You got the Illini BAM there. And then it also has the fighting Illini going down the sleeve. All right. This is a 2XL. Let's see if I can open it up so you guys can kind of see it. Let's see what that looks like. All right. You can see a little bit better now. See how you got the fighting Illini down the sleeve? Got that. Uh, we found a pair of Nike racing pants, I mean running pants, size extra large, all right, and it has the Nike swish down at the bottom of this, all right, zip up, really cool. Now we got a pair of Adidas basketball shorts, these are, let's see, 2010, all right. Basketball shorts, Adidas. All right. We picked up this one too. So, this is a Hollister. Um, another really popular mall brand. And you got the embroidered up there. This is a size medium on this right here. Really cool. All right. We have a size, I think this is XL. Yeah, we have a size, hold on, let me get this right. All right. I'm trying to see the size of on this. I would say, this is either, I think this is an XL, size XL, all right, on this Columbia hoodie. It's gray and turquoise. You got the turquoise interior, all right, and you got the Columbia spell out right there, or the hit, if you want to call it the logo, and you have one on the back also, too. All right, so we got that. We're going to get that washed up, heavy made. <clears throat> all right, we have this... Um, Blue, black, and white polo golf. All right, this is a larger size. This is a 2XL. All right, you got the black polo horse there. All right, the 2XL for you guys to be able to see that. We got that. All right, we got a pair of champion basketball shorts, size extra large. You got the champion logo down here bottom of it all right we got that we got this vintage lee brand um size 2xl fighting alina really cool you got the on the front of the embroidery all right and then the sleeves um, if you guys can see that you have the lee stamp there Really cool. We got that. Now, this is a brand that I'm starting to buy more. It's just, it has a huge following. And it's just called Big Dogs. I looked on eBay, and there's a lot of people buying this brand. Uh, they usually make bigger sizes, but they buy a lot of the vintage shirts in this particular brand. So we got that. All right. Get to this next bag. We have this women's majestic medium St. Louis blues long sleeve shirt. This one was really cool here, guys. This is a made in the USA vintage extra large St. Louis Rams slash NFL vintage sweatshirt. We're going to be careful cleaning this one up, man, but this is really, really nice. All right. Really, really nice. Get that cleaned up. All right, we have this one here. This is a size small Nike blue hoodie. All right, no flaws on it, no defects. We're going to get this cleaned up and we'll get that for, for sale. 
All right, we have this right here, which is a extra large Adidas embroidered hoodie, heavy made. Have the Adidas embroidered logo on the chest of it. You got your stripes down there. Now, I do see this right here, but we'll be able to get that out probably with some OxyClean. And then it was some slight fading on the front, if you guys can see that. That's no big deal. All right, people like that. It adds character to it. All right. This is a really cool one we found here. This is a heavy made Carhartt hoodie. All right, excellent condition. No flaws, no defects on it. Um, this was a size extra large. You got the spell out middle chest, drawstrings, heavy made sweatshirt. All right. Probably keep that one for myself. Here's another really cool one, guys. Check this out. We got a St. Louis Cardinals Nike brand. All right. Um, size small team Nike. Size small, ain't that cool, guys? You got your, look at it, you got your, your Cardinals, you got the Nike there. But check this out, guys. You have the spell out across the back and brought it, all right, with, with the built-in hoodie. All right, so we got that. That's going to be available. Now, guys, the way I buy, I buy summer and winter. This allows for me to be able to get good deals on out-of-season stuff, but the way that we're listing, we never get everything listed for that season. So we buy both year-round. All right, so with that stated, got a pair of Speedo swim trunks. This is a popular brand we sell on our site. We'll get those listed. All right, move these bags around, so. All right. This is a Blackhawks hockey shirt. And I think they changed the name on those, if I didn't if I'm not mistaken. And then you got your hit there, bam, on the sleeve of it. And this is a Majestic, I think, yeah, Majestic in a NHL. Um, size extra large on that. Size extra large. We have a Vintage Champs slash Duke extra large T-shirt. This is a Champs product that they put out in Champs stores, Duke. We're going to be cleaning that up with some OxyClean. Get this on. We have a really nice heavy mate, Illini fighting with Illini hoodie. This is a size L home team advantage made in the USA, guys. You always look for that made in the USA. Made in the USA. That's a vintage Illini. You like that? All right. We got this one here. This is a really cool one. This is a size, women's size, extra large. And it says Nike Volleyball Heavy Made Sweatshirt. All right, you got the Nike swoosh above that. All right. Extra large. No flaws on this one right here either. All right. Here is a pair of Adidas. Athletic plans, 2006, they're probably about three years away from being vintage. Vintage is considered anything 20 years or more. All right, so you have the Adidas hit there. Real lightweight. These remind me of the old school basketball pants that like you used to see in the Nikes and stuff like that. All right. All right, here's a pair of L.L. Bean jeans, which is... Hello, Bean right now is really popular. Now, this is for a size 4630. A lot of distress in the jeans. You know, these sell good distressed jeans online. People like them distressed. It adds character to it. LL Bean, guys. Um, specific size. And so we should sell this because there's somebody out there looking for that exact item. All right. Then I have these Adidas soccer shorts. Got these right here. These are a size, man, size medium. And these were made back in 05. So they have a couple more years and they are vintage. All right. Last but not least, 
we got these here which are nike therma fit extra large blue and gray kind of see the sideways look at them guys then you have your nike logo in gray and what i like about these they have the adjustable bottoms where you could tie them up or, or loosen them up all right all right guys so that's it 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 um, i'm gonna get that stuff washed up today we're gonna get some of this other stuff listed that we have over here let me show you guys let me show you guys let me show you guys this is some of the stuff that i had um, bought recently all right we got a lot of stuff here that i still need to get listed Got some stuff here. I got stuff upstairs. You guys know the drill. Um, I still got to do this right here, guys. Look at this. Still haven't done these. Um, these are a lot of sweatpants. And actually, I have another full bin upstairs. I got Nike, Under Armour, um, Puma, Adidas. We got a lot of different brands here, guys. I got to get all this stuff listed. I'm a little behind. Let me show you guys something else, too. Hold on. This right here, this is a bin full of jeans, guys. I got all these jeans and stuff that I need to get listed time. We got a lot of different jeans and stuff. All right, guys, so you get the drift. Thanks for coming along um, in a day in the life of a clothing reseller, trade helper. If you haven't had a chance to roll over to our site, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go over to www.tradehippo.co, not .com, .co for .company. That's going to allow you to be able to access our landing page to our store, read about our mission statement, about who we are, and then click through on Shop Now. And that's going to take you to our e-commerce store that we built on top of eBay. We have over 1,200 items for sale over there. Inventory changes daily. We add new stuff. We sell stuff. So make sure you go over there, check out it, check out what it is that we're doing. If you see something you like, buy, support a brother. If you don't see something you like, that's okay. Go ahead and favorite the store, and you're going to receive a notification whenever we update with new merchandise, new inventory on the store. Orville J. Parker, aka Coach, I'm the chief visionary and the founder of Trade Hippo, and I catch you guys on the next video. God bless.